Yo, 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 what's up? It's Dede here with another gameplay, and today I'm bringing you five things that Halo multiplayer doesn't tell you. Come in number five, it doesn't matter where you shoot someone to take them down or take down their shield. People believe that if you shoot them in the head when their shield is up, that actually does more damage. He's got a rocket. Contrary to pop belief, that is not true. You want to shoot them about mass, center mass, because it doesn't matter how many shots it takes. And then once you get their shield completely down, then you start aiming for your head, their head. That's when it comes into play. If you're just aiming for their head before their shield is down, you're going to be missing a couple of shots. Unless your aim is 100% accurate, just go ahead and aim for center mass. And remember, if you use plasma rifles, it takes down the shield a lot faster. And then you switch to a kinetic, like your assault rifle, your pistol, anything that shoots bullets, to finish them off a lot faster than a plasma will when their shield, shield is down. Coming to number four, jumping on top of a vehicle and having someone drive you while holding the flag, the game doesn't even realize that you're not moving, right? So it's not going to ping you as if you get into the vehicle. Because you're playing a game like capture the flag and you get into the vehicle, the game automatically pings you and the enemy can see where you're at. But if you're standing on top of the vehicle, it won't do that because technically you're stationary. And this way, it allows you to capture the flag a lot faster or any other objective you may be playing. Coming in at number three, speaking of capture the flag, the Razorback is the perfect vehicle for capturing a flag. Got it. The Razorback is a Warhog without the gun and on the back. Just simply drive the Razor over to the enemy's base, grab the flag, go behind the vehicle, and there's actually a little metal grate behind there where you could just throw the flag onto it and drive away. Now, referring back to the previous tip, once you get into the vehicle, it's automatically going to ping you and show your location, but because of how fast the Razorback actually is, they're not really going to be able to catch up with you. Coming in at number two, the Repulsor has hidden gems as well. Use it to boost your jumps by aiming it at the ground, and use the Repulsor and you will jump to a higher state than normal. So instead of just jumping around, if you actually use the Repulsor as you're jumping and looking at the ground, you're going to jump up a lot higher, allowing you to get to elevations or platforms you wouldn't normally be able to get to just by a normal jump. You can also use it to throw grenades away. Whenever someone throws a grenade, use a repulsor. It's going to send the grenades flying back in the opposite direction. Also, it can be used to shove objectives around. So, again, we were just talking about capture the flag because it's one of my favorite game modes to play. Uh, and you can actually use it to push the flags. This way you don't have to pick it up while you're trying to defend off enemies that are going to be coming at you. Coming in at number five, grapple shot is super useful. Besides getting you from one platform to another, you can actually use it to grab onto an objective. You can use it to grab onto a vehicle and hijack it along with grabbing an enemy pulling you closer to them to let you finish off a kill. Or you can combo that with a sword and hammer when you grapple them to them, and you'll just throw out a devastating blow to allow you to take on one kill and keep moving forward. Yo, if you enjoyed the video, I asked you please hit the like button. It really does help out a lot. Also, check out either the video I just uploaded yesterday or the shorts playlist. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace and love.